Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ali. I upload three videos a week beauty, lifestyle, and Bible. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. Okay, so I'm here with I'm here with my five minute hair tutorial that I told you guys about that's really good for just like when you're really just not wanting to wash your hair but you need to look decent for work or for school or whatever that day and you can get this hairstyle done really really fast. Like I said, I'm pretty sure you could do this hairstyle with straight hair. My tutorial is going to be geared more towards girls with curly hair but like I said, I'm pretty sure straight hair my straight haired friends can do this too. Like I said, it's geared more towards girls with curly hairs because we're gonna be slicking down these baby hairs and just making it look nice and voluminous. So obviously the first thing you wanna do is just take your hair down from your bedtime bun. And then I like to take something that just has some kind of point to it. Sometimes I'll even go in with a pin. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start parting our hair right down the middle. So that's as good as we're gonna get. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to first take my um, got to be glued spiking gel and what we're gonna do is we're going to apply that. Whichever side you're going to start on first, apply it on that side. So what we're gonna do is, I like, for whatever reason, I always start on the left side, my left, your right. So I'm gonna start right here and we're just gonna start applying that to the edges so the next thing that you really want to do is wet the rest of it try not to wet the edges but wet like the top and i promise this is not mrs meyer's cleaning spray we clean this out rinse it out this is our spray bottle with water so we're just going to wet our hair with some water now that we have this in a state where we can kind of part it and braid it now we're going to got my little baggie of hair stuff so you're going to need, and I probably should have said that first, bobby pins is really all that you need, but if you wanna go in with something like these, which is what I use, even though they're two different ones, since they don't go right by each other, I use them anyways. So now what you wanna start doing is twisting your hair to one side. And then you see how your edges kinda just fall in place. Okay, so since we're going to wanna keep out some little curlies, just pull a few out, not too long, I don't like really long like sideburn curls so I pull off the shorter hair twisting it back like I said try to keep your hair parted as much as possible take one bobby pin you're gonna pin it kind of at the bottom right here just to hold it in place for you okay now if you have straight hair you're probably gonna need like a little clear clear black rubber band for this Part I okay, so now that we have this done, what you do now is you're going to braid it. And that's why I say it's best that you try to get like all the tangles out and stuff before you get here because of how that popped off. So just three equal parts. It's not a fancy braid, just a regular old trenza. And I braid it all the way down to the very, very bottom because I don't want it to come undone while we're doing the other side. So now what I do is I take just a, I take it and I loosen it just a little bit so that way the braid doesn't look so tight. And you see my twisty kind of came out a little bit. Don't even know where the bottom pin went. So now I'll just go in and retwist it. And this, this will happen, you guys. It's okay, don't let it frustrate you. And you're just gonna, you might just need to add two bobby pins maybe. So that's exactly what I'm going to do since my hair wants to act crazy today. We are going to flint it in two different places. So now we have that pinned pin down and I'm going to speed through this side since I did the walk through with this side.
Okay, so one side will always one side will always come out looking better than the other side. That's okay. It's not like we're going to stop here. We're actually just going to wrap it around and then we can pin everything else in place. Funny thing is, for those of you who can't French braid like me, this is a really simple trick to get like the boxer braid effect, only instead of going to the side with your twisty, go straight back and then braid it. And it looks like you have boxer braids, but you don't. So now what we're gonna do is we're just going to wrap this around. And what I'm going to do is just pin this in place. I believe the actual term for these is called milkmaid braids, but yeah. So I like to pin it in two different places. For my girls with straight hair, if your braid won't hold itself, this is where your rubber band would come in play. You would put it at the bottom of your braid. So now we have made it this far. And the longer your hair, the more your braid will wrap, wrap around, just keep wrapping it. So now that we are here, this is where I really go in and touch up my edges. So I would be, usually be standing at a sink, but since I'm not, I'm just gonna spray the tips of my fingers and start getting everything in place where I want it. I even like to recurl my little edges. And then I would take a brush like this, or you can use a spoolie, and this is where I smooth that out. And I just take the corner of the brush and do that. Okay, now this is where I would go in and add these pins, but I'm really not feeling like it today, but usually I would just go in and like pop these on like at the top, probably facing away from each other, and it would look like something like that. Like I said, I'm really not feeling the pins today, just kind of don't want to fuss and fight with them. And then that is it for this hair tutorial, you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Like I said, five minutes. It took me a little bit longer. You will have some complications sometimes, but like I said, don't let it stress you out because it's not something that has to be perfect because most of it, excuse me, will get covered up anyways. The only really detailed part that you kind of need to pay attention to are your edges because your edges if you have your edges and your little curlies looking cute, like nobody's gonna pay attention to like anything else except for the braids. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you try it out. Tag me in pics on everything. And I always remember that I love you guys, but Jesus loves you more. If you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe bus button. Also, wait, what? If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.